The future perfect continuous tense, also known as the future perfect progressive tense, refers to expressions such as I will have been working for this company for two years by January or the book will have been being written by next week. The tense refers to actions or states that start before a future point in time and continue until that future point in time. Let's say that this is the timeline and you have a future point in time. If you have an action that starts before this future point in time and continues until the future point in time, you use the future perfect continuous tense. For instance, take the sentence, I will have been working for this company for two years by January. In this case, January is the future point in time. The speaker started working for the company before January and will continue to work until January. You can also mention the duration as in this clause in order to emphasize the duration. Here are some example sentences. Please note that, due to its meaning, you must talk about at least one future point in time when you use the future perfect continuous tense. Here are some common ways for people to introduce the future point in time. Be careful! You must never use the word will inside the clauses introducing a future point in time. The following sentences are all wrong. Now, let's talk about the difference between the future perfect continuous tense and the future perfect tense. To give you a friendly tip before I start, if you're confused by what comes next, just remember that the future perfect continuous tense emphasizes two things at the same time. One, action starting before the future point in time, and two, the action continuing until the future point in time. Other tenses do not emphasize these two at the same time. Anyway, back to the difference between the future perfect continuous tense and the future perfect tense. What distinguishes them is whether the action continues until the future point in time. Take the sentence, I will have worked on my homework by the time you come home. The future perfect tense tells us that the action happened before a future time. The action is working on my homework, and the future time is by the time you come home. However, this tense does not tell us whether the action continues until the future point in time or is finished way before the future point in time. On the other hand, the future perfect continuous tense tells us for sure that the action continues until the future point in time. For instance, take the sentence, I will have been working on my homework by the time you come home. The tense tells us for certain that working on my homework continues until the future point in time, which which is by the time you come home. Wow, that was a lot to take in. Now let's move on to the next topic, the stative verbs. The future perfect continuous tense cannot be used with stative verbs such as these ones. For instance, if you say, I will have been knowing how to count up to three by grade one, you will be wrong. Let me explain why. Stative verbs usually describe permanent conditions that once hold true will always hold true without any change in degree. For instance, English speakers think that if you came to know how tasty Nutella is, then you know it now and will always know it in the future without any change in degree. Hence, they think it is nonsense to use the future perfect continuous to describe these conditions as continuing up to a certain point. What that means is, if you are using stative verbs to describe a permanent and condition, you should not use them with the future perfect continuous tense. The following sentences are all wrong. Instead, you must change the verbs into the future perfect tense as in these sentences. We use the future perfect tense because it doesn't have the nuance that the action continues up to a certain point. I usually tell my students that native speakers do use stative verbs with continuous tenses in certain informal situations. However, none of those situations apply to the future perfect continuous. So please don't use stative verbs with the future perfect continuous tense. Now let's move on to the next topic. The future perfect continuous tense uses a special verb form will have been plus ing. Let's first look at what the present participle, also known as the ing form of verb is. Is. Every verb can be changed into multiple forms. To express the past time, the verb changes into the past form. To create a noun, the verb changes into a gerund. To express continuous tenses or to create an adjective, the verb changes into a present participle. And to express perfect tenses, the passive voice or to create an adjective, the verb changes into a past participle. Since we're talking about the future perfect continuous tense, we're interested in this guy. So how do we make a present participle? The dictionary tells us how to make one. Usually, you add ing after the verb, as in beat to beating. There are some exceptions though. If the word 
word ends with an E, drop E and add ing as in write to writing. If the word ends with an IE, drop IE and add YING as in die to dying. Lastly, if you have a verb whose structure is consonant vowel consonant, double the last letter and add ing as in run to running. Now let's see how we use will have been plus ing in a sentence. If you want to transform the sentence I live with Yorick for three years by Sunday into will have been plus ing form, first insert the verb will have been before the verb live. Secondly, change the original verb live into its ing form living and you're done. Be aware that the word will can be contracted as the following in informal settings. In addition, the word will not can be contracted as the following in informal settings. Alright, this is it for the future perfect continuous tense. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section and hit subscribe for more English lessons. It was nice having you. Please check out the videos on other tenses and goodbye.